What are these things? Ooh, that's... Oh, oh my god, I was just looking at them! That is brutal. I forgot, I forgot these things were on right now. What is going on everybody? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, finally back with some more photon testing. Here we are on one of the giant awesome map extension floating islands, which all of these mods are in the description, don't worry about that. If they're not, it's because I forgot it and just remind me. Now I just spent the last, I want to say around three and a half hours constructing this. This time I'm saving the world. Why I didn't save the world last time, I do not know. It's it's because I wanted to remake it with at least Star Wars walls and everything, and now we have at least phase one to the star killer base or star killer wannabe base down and it's it's saved for good the only reason it's sa it's phase one right now is because we're about to test the shit out of these wardens we're about to fry us some turkeys man i'm so done taking abuse from these bitches but also because with mods like the godzilla mod or arkzilla mod on the way just certain things like that i think it'd be cool if in the future i just add on to this sack it maybe twice as high close it in around the top have entrances like we can actually make this into a giant, crazy, horrifying place if I just build onto it every time. So I'm excited. Each of these should be more than well armed. Like there's many, many, many turrets here, all aiming inwards. They're all, they're all set to the maximum range to attack any target. I went and set each of their op options individually. <laughs> all right. So before we get any wardens in here and test the actual, I haven't even fired these things off. I've done zero testing. I literally just finished and went and got something to eat because I was about to vomit. And then I was so excited after that I had to jump right back into it. So first we test these guys. They do not see me. Oh, I'm enemy. Holy shit. That's what I'm talking about right there. This place is a success. Those two fools just got the shit kicked out of them. That was beautiful. I also have enemy invisible. They shouldn't have seen me, but that's, that's, that's a tale for another day. Alright, so the first one we're going to test is the Warden of the Tundra. I'm just going to do these short little intros before I undo anything. Look at the fucking size of this guy. He grows every time I spawn him. Every time I deal with this guy, he's bigger. I almost made this cage too small. Like, I was like, this is plenty. This is freaking huge. We'll have plenty of room. But no, it's, it's literally... It actually has to be bigger next time. Damn it! That roar is just tremendous. Why can't they shoot him? Oh my god, I totally remember what happened last time I tried this exact same mod. Oh shit, please don't destroy my walls, I need those things. Look, he already broke a bunch of them! You dirty dickbag! Oh my god. That's what he did, he destroyed the generator. He destroyed the generator and just ruined all my fun right there. You dirty bag of bastards, I can't believe- What the fuck, what the fuck's the point? Okay, so that's one thing we need to note for next time, the generator needs to be far away. Cause that's one thing he can hit. How many of them just lost power? What do you mean all of them just lost power? Dude, there is only a couple. Cause he's so damn big, he's able to hit every single corner. The only place to sell as a generator active is this side. That is some bullshit. Okay, well great, now I have a bunch of fixing to do. Thanks a lot, Tundra Warden, and he's officially destroyed everything. Well, good for him. All right, there, we finally have, wait, no, no. Wait, that's it's irrelevant. I just I don't. Okay, oh, never mind. <laughs> we finally have everything back to how it should have been. Every single one of these things, minus maybe like five of them, are back on. You see some of those guys up top. It's weird. Some of them are still like electrically connected to the old generators that are destroyed. And and by only putting power outlets attached to those wires that aren't even active anymore, can I even turn them back on? Now I totally forgot that we tried something like this a while ago. And the mod dev to the Genesis mod, whatever the hell needs to be completed on creatures that makes them actual creatures he never did that or she never did that whatever the gender never never freaking did it so they don't register with photon turrets i'm now realizing why i haven't done this yet it's because it's because the photon turrets doesn't freaking attack them it attacks everything else so we're gonna skip the wardens right now hopefully i don't even want to say everyone go no 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 do not go comment this on the steam page i'll just be messed up because these mod devs actually get enough crap as is for some reason even though everything they do is completely free, like they we don't we don't pay them to do it. So I'm not gonna complain, I'm just gonna say that I don't know. We're still gonna blow some shit up right now, and the Star Killer base is still gonna come in so much handy. Alright, now the Genesis mod dev has been busy, is in fact they, there's no longer Psycho's not even the craziest person in that mod anymore. They now just have a god. There's now the Dodo gods. <laughs> Look at this holy unholy bastard. Completely pitch black with just purple aurora. Does he even have stats? Is there even a thing about you, sir? So yeah, now Psycho's not even the craziest. He's now he has to pray to God. So it's how we managed to catch God and, and 
confiscate him, put him in our just, I don't know, obliterators beyond me, but it's hope, hope to shit these things work. Crap, they don't register! What have you done, you son of a bitch? Oh my god, he brought Armageddon! He's brought Armageddon on us all! Oh my god, the, the, the son of a bitch, it would, it would figure, oh, he didn't destroy my generator yet. Thank you so much, god. It, it would, it would figure that now we finally have a freaking photon cannon base undergo. The mod dev brings in God, and now <laughs> there's just this psycho is not even that crazy anymore. Now we just have to worry about Jesus Christ, Dodo Rex over here. All right, so I, I'm gonna be a little honest with you guys. I'm a little flabbergasted right now. I'm not entirely sure where should we. Where, what do we do? I, I I brought a photon cannon to a God fight. Usually, you bring a photon cannon to a fight, you come out on top, but not not if they brought God. What are these things? Ooh, that's oh God! Oh my God! I was just looking at them. That is brutal. I forgot. I forgot these things were on right now. I'm just checking out now these new creatures in the Genesis mod because we're probably gonna have to come across these in the future. There's now these mini Dodo Rexes. I'm not entirely sure what these guys do. I'll bet you anything these set you on fire and these poison your ass though. It just seems like a dead giveaway. So in addition to these guys, we also have to worry about God now. If I ever see- his name's Oblivion. If we ever see Oblivion, we're just so boned. Like the whole series is restarting everything. All right, light him up. Oh, damn, son, there's so many lasers. They just can't get anywhere. Look at them all simultaneously drop dead. See, this is a very successful base if they're actually able to, to hit the targets. This is the kind of thing, because we also have Joanne's Photon Sentry Gun turret. This exact turret has been in the mod since, or in the modded survival since the beginning, too. So it's not crazy to think we could actually come up with something like this in the future. Although it is crazy to think that I will single-handedly gather the resources for, for something like this in the future. Who the hell is this? Why have I not seen this guy yet? Wyvern or whatever? He's just some kind of pitch black evil dragon. He's much smaller and much smellier. He lets off an aroma. That of a giant shit. Yeah, I'm stuck here. You're a cool little fella, dude. I haven't seen you before and you honestly look pretty damn scary. If I feel like you're something out of like a, one of those dark ass Disney movies where the parents always die for some reason. All right, let's cook him. Oh no, she run from us, you bitch! <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You might be going somewhere. Oh no, he's he's not going anywhere. That was the weirdest commentating I've ever done in my life. I was just no idea what was happening there. Who was producing electricity? Was that him or us? I don't know. Uh, you know what? I, I need to get my dire wolves back in here. I need to have like a dino gate. So when everything's done, I just open it up, the wolves come running in, eat all the meat, and then I just have them all get out of here. And then redo it each round. That's... that's the way to do it. Oh, that was as soon as I undid the damn thing! We have it at half speed, so now we get to see it much more beautiful. Dude, this is a very... I like take so much pride in this entire base. Look at them each just focusing on their own quadrant of Dodo Rex either. Imagine if it was just one creature in the middle, it'd be dead so fast. Oh, and down they all go. Why would just, just turning into feathers? Oh my god. That poor last bastard. That was beautiful. I gotta be honest, that was totally worth the couple hours I spent setting it up. I'm gonna use this thing forever. Ooh, look how slow those punches are. It bothers me how freely the golden dodo is able to walk around around it. Like, how is that? A, how is this son of a bitch able to maintain life? Walking around in, like, the death pit. Nothing survives this, and yet his ass just walks freely. It bothers me, man. <laughs> oh, hit an entrance way right there. <laughs> Someone zap that son of a bitch. I don't like this. He's caused me so much pain. I know we, we he didn't have to cause us so much pain. I should have just tamed him peacefully, but I don't know, man. You see a giant golden dodo, you want to stick a spear in it. I don't know what it is. Dude, this mod has some crazy ass shit. I didn't realize the amount of dragons we stand a possibility of running into. Now just to test off the true strength of this, I'm gonna have them zap two gorillas and two dragons, even though those are more like miniature, but I'm pretty sure they're badass statistic-wise. And then, then I don't know, man. This is just kind of cruel slash very entertaining. Oh shit! Oh, we're all dying so fast. Oh my god, nothing really stands a chance in here at all. I think, I think that once we stack the walls twice as high, we'll be ready for the Godzilla mod. And then, and then I like to see that son of a bitch give me attitude. Not to mention, hopefully the Genesis mod dev updates them to where we can actually zap the wardens so they're not just invisible. 
All right, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. Um, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more comments, any ideas you may have, and have a nice day, guys. Peace.